the bravest of the bunch. Goes, I, I'm going, can I go upstairs? I'm like, absolutely. I said, have at it. I said, but look, judging by the look of your three buddies' faces over here, if you see anything, they're not coming for it. They're not coming. He said, I'm going upstairs. I said, all right, look, they're not coming. I said, they don't pay me enough. I said, so have yourself a time up there. Oh, he came back down. No, no, he came back down. He was up for, I don't know, like four or five minutes looking around, checking around, seeing everything. And I said to him, I said, what did you expect was going to happen? Like, when you got to the top of the stairs, did you think that whatever you saw was going to be hovering at the end of the hallway? In other words, when you, did you expect to see something, you know, like a long, flowing white thing hovering at the end of the hallway? I don't know what you expect. You expect him to see. And he goes, I don't know. He goes, All I know is I saw something going on in that hallway. And I said, All right, well, judging by the fact that you got up on your ass and went upstairs, I said, I would imagine that, you know, you, you, you think you saw something. Yeah. You know, so. Most people, if they came face to face with something, I don't think they really think through what they You know what I mean? Right, like, yeah. Would do. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, so most people would. I think freeze and fear for a quick second before they decided what would be the next best book, you know. So how did you ladies hear about it? One of our friends just told us to look at your website that we might be interested. So there's another website it's called New England Ghost Project. Huh. We had a girl, we had a waitress one down there. I'll never forget it because I was here that night. She went upstairs because at the end of the night they have to go and make sure everything's shut off in the station upstairs. They have to shut the music off. The music upstairs. And they have to do a couple things upstairs. So she went upstairs to go shut everything off. Well, she saw him. He was sitting at a table. She walked into the room to shut the light, and, and she just, they walked. You know, he saw her. And she saw, they never, 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 never. There was no words exchanged. There was no nothing. They just locked eyes for a second. And she froze. She froze. Yeah. She froze. And when she finally got her wits about it, she came bounding down the stairs and ran out the door and ran down the ramp into the park. Now, she was of Mediterranean descent. And when you hear white as a ghost with the color draining, that's what she looked like. Now, nobody knew what happened. Because yeah. we were all sitting here. With it. it was all wait staff because we were all doing our paperwork at the end of the night and having a drink. And then she got on the tool well, like, what the hell's going on with that? Like, what the hell just happened? And she came back in when she had composed herself. And she quit that night. She never came. She couldn't. She couldn't. She never wanted to see him again. So she said to the hostess, she said, do you need two weeks or... Can I leave tonight? And she left that night. She never came back after that night. Now, I saw fear in her face. Like, when you see somebody that's truly petrified, that's something you can't fake. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just fake that. She was petrified. You know, so. You got it, buddy. I was just talking to these young ladies. I appreciate that very much. I'm sure they do too, but I want to get my... Thank you. You too. I really appreciate it. Well, if you ever around again, you want to pop in? We will. We'll be sure to. Thank you. Okay. So, Beth, what do you think about our trip? I thought this was a very fun excursion that we just took. I it's thought this was right great. Right there with the powder house and market basket. Yeah. Both deaf. And the food was really good. The we food was great. Oh, we did. I did eat at market basket. I had that chocolate bomb thing. Yeah. yeah. Bomb.com. Yeah. And the food here was good. Really good. Even if you don't like ghosts, go for the food. Yeah. The people were all super nice and they were excited to have us there and talk to us. We would like to apologize for some of the audio sound, but again, this is kind of just a fun little excursion we went on. Right. Out of the studio, living our lives, being free. In New Hampshire. In New Hampshire, live free or die. Get out of Massachusetts. People are much nicer here. You guys just heard all of our EVPs. We haven't listened to all of them yet. We're excited. 
Uh, there was a lot of background noise though, so that can make it kind of hard. We were in the restaurant for four hours. We definitely obviously talked to a lot of awesome people, had some good food, I had a few drinks, and um, yeah, all in all a lot of fun. I'd go back. I would go back too. Um, and I asked Penny about that, and she said that the best hit, the best nights to go back would be a Monday or a Tuesday night, that those are the slower nights, um, and so we might be more likely to see something happen or have more time to chat with the wait staff. Yeah. I'd, I'd dye my hair blonde just to see if my necklace would fall off. <laughs> I've done it before. I'll do it again. <laughs> I'm not going to go that far. But... All right. I kind of like my hair color. Yeah, that's good. it's time for some listener mail. I think you're right. So what we did, we went and we put up a thing online where you guys could ask us your questions anonymously and we would answer it live on, well not live, but here, we'd answer it here. So yeah, let's get started. All right. The first question comes from Anonymous. Are there reports or spooky stories of haunted covered bridges in New Hampshire? No. I mean, I'm sure there <laughs> What? <laughs> that question I might have snuck a peek at prior to this moment. And uh, no, there aren't. There are some in Massachusetts. There are some in Vermont, specifically Emily's Bridge, which we covered on episode 12. And that's kind of a really big haunted bridge in the New England area. There aren't a lot in New Hampshire, although there are a good amount of covered bridges up here, and they're very quaint. Um, there's another big one in Greenfield, Massachusetts that's really popular, um, but in the maybe 20 minutes I spent looking online, I couldn't find any big ones in New Hampshire. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean there aren't them, because obviously everything haunted isn't on the internet. So if you're listening to this and you live in New Hampshire or vacation here a lot, and you know that you have seen a ghost in a haunted bridge, please write in. Let us know. We'll read it on our next episode. Or even if somebody's just told you a story about a haunted covered bridge in New Hampshire. Yeah. Send us the details. Send us your deets. Slide into those DMs, baby. Next question. Next question. <laughs> is that ghost guy guest from Long Island single? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Ooh. Will <laughs> Fox has an admirer. Will Fox is not single. He has a very lovely girlfriend with him on Long Island. I can't remember. She follows our podcast on Facebook. I believe her name is Julia. And uh, I believe they've been together some time. So sorry, Will Fox, off the market. Next question. Next question, also from Anonymous. I know ghosts can be scary, but are there funny ghosts? I saw a very pale participant at a comedy open mic, and I was just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is something that um, we talked about with Barry Corbett back um, in our first episode when we interviewed him. That, you know, he said that there were ghosts that are just, you know, I believe he put it, they were jerks in real life and now they're still jerks in the afterlife. In that same idea that ghosts who were funny people in real life could very well be funny people now in the afterlife and they just go around trying to kind of make you laugh. I mean, Amelia's tarot cards tell jokes. Why can't ghosts? My tarot cards tell jokes all the time. And yes, I, I fully and completely believe um, spirits can be jokesters. I have a sneaky suspicion, however, that someone I know left us that question back. To answer what they, I believe, were trying to say, I have not signed up for it yet, but will by the end of the summer. <laughs> Oh, well, well, I have I have a whole stand-up routine, and I've been going to open mic nights, but I haven't gotten the courage to get up there yet. Oh, why not? Uh, so I was really going to the other night. They're the ones I like to adore on Tuesdays, and I actually, I did a little thing for the Unbelievers uh, the night before, and I totally choked, and then I was too scared to ask if I was going to choke again. So uh, maybe next week I'll do it. Who knows? Maybe Ghost Hunting in New England will be there to record it. As Amelia's uh, big... They absolutely will not. 
Oh, which is why I didn't tell you that. No, our, <laughs> our listeners, our fandom, uh, are like six people would love to hear it. Yeah, my jokes have nothing to do with ghosts. <laughs> they don't have to. They listen for you. <laughs> Alright, next question. <laughs> oh, this is a familiar question. If you had an unlimited budget and could pick one specific location, one building or site, to visit for the purpose of ghost hunting, where would it be? We have gotten this question before. My answer stays the same from the last time we were asked this question, and that is I would like to go to uh, Dracula's Castle in Transylvania, uh, where Vlad the Impaler took reign, and it is super haunted, it's super spooky, definitely very scary, and I would love to do a ghost hunt there. How about you, Beth? My answer changes every time I hear this question, so today my answer is going to be Sleepy Hollow in New York, and go and see if the Headless Horseman is really there, or if it was all just brom bones dressed up to scare the Claude Green. Hold on. What? That? What? You and I <laughs> could drive to Sleepy Hollow right now and do this. This is well, unlimited money. Well, Money's but- not an option. Well, it's not an object. Yeah, you're right. Okay, you're right. Um, well, we can't go now because I have to go to the airport. Yes. Okay. All right, but, next question. But I'm still going to Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, but I'm saying this is your chance. You could, like, ghost hunt Australia. I don't know enough about uh, ghosts in Australia right now. They have them, I think. Hey, I'll change my answer next time I get the question. That's fair. Okay, next question. Okay. Next question. <laughs> I think this is a question for me and not for Amelia, and she'll know why in just a second. Ham sandwiches or tuna sandwiches? Oh, you think it's for you? You give your answer, I'll give mine. Oh, really? Uh, they're, they're anonymous. I don't I don't know who left them, but I do have an answer for the question. For me, I'm going to go with just bread because I don't like ham or canned tuna. And for me, I would like to say that at least here in Massachusetts... Freemasons are still not allowing women to join, so we have we have no say on Illuminati lunch specials. Next question. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> what, what the hell was that? That had nothing to do with sandwiches. Uh, next question. You two talk about being anti-Ouija board. Have either of you ever used a Ouija board? No, because we're anti. We don't use them. I've used a Ouija board. What? Beth, are you crazy? I was like 12. All right, we got to hear the deets. Okay. So I was at a sleepover, as okay. happens. 12-year-old girls go to sleepovers. Yeah. And there were a whole bunch of us, and there was a Ouija board. And being the brilliant 12-year-old girls that we were, we took the Ouija board out and decided to start playing with it. So... We're sitting in the basement, and the planchet is moving around the board, and uh, we asked who it was, and it said that uh, it was Edward. And I was like, oh, I think that's my grandfather, because my grandfather was and is dead and named Edward. So, on your paternal side. Yes. yes. My father's father named Edward. One of my brothers is named after him. So... I don't remember all the details about it, but I remember asking how many children they had, and he said four, and that wasn't right, because there were only three kids. Of course, now, looking back on it all these years later, it was entirely possible, I guess, that he might have had a child somewhere else. Yeah. Or maybe one of the children died. Yes. It was... Totally possible. Right. It was the 30s, and stuff like that happened. So anyway, that was the time that I used the Ouija board. And so when I saw that uh, he said four, I like took my hands off and I was like, yeah, no, I don't think that's him. I think that this is not fun. Let's put this away now. I've had many opportunities, um, but I never have. I'm very scared of it. I will never use one. Um, a lot of people have tried to push them on me. Some people try to bring them to my apartment as a joke. It's not a funny joke. I tell them to get it out of my apartment immediately. I usually get it pretty bad. I don't like them. That's my statement. Okay. Next question. Next question. 
Do you think everyone is a ghost at some point before they move on? Or do some people just move on? Do you have to be, quote, special?